Yo, what's going on boys? Today I'm going to be trying out the new firecracker and see if it's any good. I'm going to be playing some ladder with expo firecracker, so if you enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I already got a game here. This guy's like a whole 150 below me, so I'll try my best to not lose. If I lose, I'll be like negative 45. But ghost and queen. Okay, so it kind of looks like Mega Knight Lightning. Could also be Pekka. Uh, could also be a different deck, like probably like the Magic Archer deck. Okay, how did that shoot my firecracker? I have no idea how that shot, but it's okay. I'm gonna log over here, just gonna go for an Ice Spirit to not take any damage. Ooh, that Zap could have been scary if he hit it on the Ice Spirit, but... Now I get to Expo, because Zap means P.E.K.K.A. and here he played a Zap, so I can't really P.E.K.K.A. on Max. But if he P.E.K.K.A.s, I'm gonna go Knight Skellies and it just dies. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I had no idea he had an Ewas. I thought he put it in for the Ewas, but I guess he put the Queen in for something else. I'm gonna play my Ice Spirit on the right side to kind of apply some pressure and see if I can bait out the Ghost. If I do it, I'm going to get some damage with the knight, but I feel like he's going to eat the ice spirit and just go ghost on the knight, which would actually be the better play. Okay, I just go for that. I don't really know how to defend this. I'm going to kite this with a firecracker because I don't really have an option right now, but yeah, just going to do this and he might just go for like a bandit or Ewas or something. He's back to the stuff he needs to defend that. Okay, zap, not bad. I'm going to knight on the ghost now because I'm back to knight. I was able to force out a 2 elixir card for that, and that was also supposed to be like a defensive card, so I don't really mind him zapping the firecracker, see what he does here. I want to kind of fireball that, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go for a Tesla in the middle and uh, see if he goes for like a bandit in the middle. If he does, I'm going to skellies to kind of stop it from going to my um, Tesla, but he does pop the ability, so I'm going to Ice Spirit here. Kind of played it too soon, but I think it's okay. I only got one shot on the Tesla, so it's going to stay on the field. I don't think he's back to zap, so I can't really kill my... Kill my Tesla. If he is though, I'm gonna have to like panic log. I don't think he is though. Oh wait, he missed the fireball. Missed the fireball on the firecracker. So gonna expo here and might go Pekka or something in the middle. Yeah, I had a feeling he would just play a tank in the middle. Gonna go for a Tesla hard to snipe it out, and then he might just go for like an Ewiz or something. Gonna have to skelly here to not let the firecracker die. Oh, I should have played that like 0.1 second uh, earlier. It would have blocked the queen, but I played it too late. Doesn't matter though, I still have a firecracker on the field, so that might get some damage here. One shot, nice. Yo, that's so broken. Firecracker like outranges or um, outshoots any any range unit. Like even the musketeer or the archers, like any range unit, they can't shoot first. If there's a firecracker on the field, she's always gonna get that hit. Okay, I should have fireballed there to take out the barb and the Ewas, but I played a knight, so too late. Now I'm gonna axe ball on the right though. He's kind of low on elixir right now, so don't really think he's gonna be able to defend this. Yeah, okay. Got a lock there. Nice. I'm gonna firecracker the middle here to defend. Gonna log it back. And that was kind of a bad firecracker. I realize it now because he popped the ability and then I logged it back. And the firecracker just died. It just like walked into that ability. So that was not really very good. But I'm up a lot of damage right now. So I think I can spare like a few firecrackers. I can just kind of, you know, let them die and stuff. I'm joking. I can't do that. If I do that, I might be uh, down elixir eventually. So, see what he does here. Pack in the back. I'm gonna Axe on defense here because I don't really want to go in opposite lane. If he defends the Axe and I have to defend it back opposite lane, that would not be optimal. That's like the worst case scenario right now. So, I had to kind of just uh, Axe on defense here to defend everything. Gonna Firecracker. That might get one shot, Loki, but I don't care. Because I want to get Axe here to get damage. I feel like I get da guaranteed damage here. Oh, what? He has enough for Pekka? Okay. Well, nice. I got guaranteed damage. I got the high spirit. <laughs> I'm just joking. I was hoping to get a lock there, but apparently he got the Pekka down. I don't know how, but that's fine. Also took one Pekka hit for no reason at all. And he didn't pop the ability on the queen, so that's good. Ice spirit. Oh, really good zap. That was actually a really, really good zap. He hit the ice spirit and the expo with it. So yeah, the Ewa should die. Only should get one hit on the tower. I'm going to go for a firecracker on the Pekka. I know he's back to Pekka now. Just going to log. Just going to go for a knight. Ice Spirit to freeze everything. Gonna Firecracker again because he fireballed the first one. Can't really kill this one if I play it good. I'm gonna go for Skellies on the Ewas and then just gonna go Expo. And then gonna go for a Knight in the middle here for the Ghost. I know he's back to Pekka, so I might go Pekka at the bridge. Yep, like always. Uh, gonna Ice Spirit and yeah, that is going to distract it for a little. Oh my. I remember what I said. I can afford to put some Firecracker into stuff like that because I'm up a lot of damage. Uh, that was totally calculated, I guess. I'm gonna go for an Ice Spirit. I'm gonna have to Fireball lock that out. Oh, nice, sweet. He gave me value with it, so... I'll take that for sure. Fireball, boom, and that is game. I think he tried to predict a Knight or something. He also zapped on the spot. What the hell? Okay, but yeah, I'll take the win now. I'm um, just gonna Fireball, and the Firecracker should shoot. Oh, yikes. If that took down the tower, that would've been nice, but... 
you know what i'll take the win i'm not gonna get a lot from this though probably gonna get like i don't know 18 19 or something but i'll take the win he's like 150 below me 22 not bad all right i'm in a match Ooh, this guy's a lot higher than me i face someone who's 150 below me and then i face this guy who's like 100 above me not bad i'll definitely take the trophies i have to win this now i'm gonna go for a knight the back see what deck he's playing fisherman oh might be rg a lot of rg decks are running monk right now so not a very good sign but let's see if he has a monk i'm gonna go for a firecracker in the middle it does go for minions i'm gonna okay i was gonna expo same lane but i'm not going to do that anymore i'm gonna wait for that just gonna go for an ice bear on the left here to kind of pressure archers okay glad i didn't go in he could have just archers then like played something for the firecracker and killed the whole expo uh, Michael Miner, so I'm gonna go for Skelly's. Nice. Okay. So I know what deck he's playing now. He's playing Balloon with Bomb Tower, uh, Fisherman, Minions, Delivery, Archer, Snowball. Uh, I'm forgetting something. I'm forgetting like what two cards, I think. But yeah, it's a pretty annoying deck. I think I can beat it though, but this could get awkward when I don't have like a Firecracker in cycle. Um, when I'm forced to kind of defend without the Firecracker. I don't think he's gonna Bomb Tower this. Yikes. Dude okay the one time i thought um he was gonna balloon he plays a bomb tower and a fisherman that was kind of annoying if i block that i just win the game like just straight up win because i play skellies too and then i play a knight but yeah that's okay i have plenty of time to make up for it i just need to block the expo like not let it die so see what he does i think he's like one off minor might be back actually i'm gonna go for skellies at back now he's definitely one off he played fisher snowball and a bomb tower so now he's back because he played the archers might play it on the firecracker if he does i'm gonna knight on it uh, okay, I'm gonna hold on to my Tesla because that might be in the middle. I thought the miner was in the middle, like where the Tesla would be, like on that spot. So I was kind of worried about it for a second, but I think I'll be fine. I'm gonna Ice Spirit, and yeah, that is a lock. Okay, I was gonna Knight for the Bomb Tower, but I didn't know he was gonna Minions. Really good Minions, though. If you played Ice Spirit, I mean Bomb Tower or uh, Archers or anything, I would have just Knighted to block it and then just gotten the whole tower, but he played Minions to kill Max, so that was pretty good gonna firecracker the back whoa is that lag okay i'm kind of lagging right now i guess gonna knight i'm gonna test it here to not let the bomb tower shoot on my knight that way the firecracker doesn't die and then just gonna go for an expo same lane right now so he can't go opposite lane because i already cycled my tesla and the firecracker if he went opposite there that would have been bad like really bad but i think i'll be fine here the archer might get one shot on my yeah had a feeling it would get one shot on the firecracker not bad though i'm gonna still force out something um on the firecracker to kind of delay his push not bad might go balloon now he's definitely gonna go balloon on second thought gonna go tesla here oh so i don't really know if this is uh good or bad but skelly's here i guess and then just gonna go firecracker and never mind that was actually pretty good what the hell that was pretty easy i thought my tesla was gonna die but it just stayed alive for like the majority of the push gonna go for a log on the firecracker i was predicting like i don't even know what i was predicting he has nothing i can log what the hell I'm um, just gonna go for a Tesla and then just gonna fireball because he has minions and balloon. I'm gonna have to ice spirit on the balloon too because the Tesla wasn't really locked on the balloon before I fireballed, so gonna have to get it out. Nice. My Tesla stays on the field, but he is getting a lot of damage with the miners. So gonna have to watch. I can't really eat another miner. Can't really do that again, but just gonna knight and then expo again. Oh, I don't know about all that. I think I won here. Either I won or lost. I can't really tell uh firecracker shoot on the right thing no okay the firecracker shot on like the one hp delivery and didn't shoot on the archers so i don't get any damage plus he also doesn't get any damage that would have been really good if the firecracker just shot on the right thing though but it's okay plenty of time to get more damage i don't really need more damage look i can just kind of fireball cycle from here on out but i want to get more damage to kind of play it safe might go snowball on the firecracker so i'm gonna go for a ice spirit on the balloon just gonna expo here gonna knight to block the bomb tower and gonna go for a firecracker in the middle now to see if he goes for balloon bomb tower okay not bad i'm gonna go for an ice spirit i meant to place that like a few moments back but i ended up clicking nothing it said like no card selected it's okay though i'm gonna go for a knight on the minor good catch on it i'm gonna log the archer so i get a tiny lock really fast nice yeah that's all i needed that's game so this is going to give me a lot like 40 maybe but yeah that matchup is kind of easy now that i think about it um, I thought it was like even matchup when I saw the deck, but that matchup's really easy because he can't really kill the firecracker, so I'll take the win, 48. Alright, I'm in a match. Facing Matt to Tobi. I think I faced this guy on my way up to Ultimate Champion. He was playing Lava Clone, so 
I beat him because archers are actually really busted. Hopefully he's playing the same deck because oh my god, firecracker is going to be so clutch. Clone is so dead now because firecracker is broken. going to go for a knight the back here to cycle. Zap. Okay, looks like he's playing a different deck. That's good. I, I don't want to face Lava Clone actually on second thought because they might also have arrows. And what if they just like arrows up my firecracker? I was kind of thinking about that. I'm going to go for a firecracker in the middle to kill one of the archers and then the other one should also die to it. Archers are so broken right now. Probably like the most used card in the game right now after the update. I'm going to go for a log and uh, he should pop the ability, right? He's going to pop the ability. Yeah, there we go. Decent ability, I guess. He kind of had to pop it, but I already got like 600 damage with the firecracker, so not bad. I'm going to go for an ice spirit on the left here. Actually going to play it in the back. No point in playing it on the left. I already got damage on the right side, so don't really have to play it on the left. I'm going to firecracker the middle. Might go for like archers in the middle to snipe it though. Whoa, what was that? Okay, uh, I don't know what that minor zap was, but I'm going to go for um, an expo in the middle and see if he can like defend this. Because he has a golden knight, right? Oh, he has a bomb tower. Oh, he's playing balloon also? What? Okay, I thought this guy was playing like minor poison or something, but he also has a balloon. Alright, I guess it's a really good match points again, but going to have to log. He also has a mega minion, so I don't really know how that's going to go. Going to ice spirit the middle to not take any damage here. And he also has a golden knight, so probably has a nato too. I don't know what to expect right now, but yeah, I'll just wait for him to go in. Tesla in the middle here. This placement should not take one hit from the balloon. I think the balloon dies like right before hitting the Tesla, right? Yeah, nice. Uh, good to know your interactions like that, because if you get to like keep your Tesla on the field for a little bit longer, that's actually so clutch. Yeah, it does go for Golden Knight and the Mega Minion and goes for a minor and pops the ability. Damn, that was a lot of elixir. I'm going to go for um, Skelly's in the middle here. Oh, wait, I forget he has a zap. Yikes. Okay, that was not good. Yeah, I kind of forgot he had a zap, so I'm going to take one hit. I'm um, just going to go for a firecracker in the back here and just going to go for like an expo. Oh, not the best archers. I'm going to go for a knight on the side. I could just go expo opposite lane right now actually to bait something out. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. And then I'm going to go for a Tesla to block the bomb tower or the balloon. Depends on what he plays. Ooh, I'll take the lock there. I'll take it for sure. Okay, wait, just go for a balloon and a miner. That's a really good fireball, so I'm gonna take the fireball on both. And then just gonna go for skellies on the mega minion. No, wait. Oops, I meant to uh, save my firecracker. That would have been really good, but the mega minion swiped it because I wasn't really like paying attention on the right side. I was kind of trying to get the balloon and the miner off. But he might go opposite lane here. Yeah, I had a feeling he would just go opposite when I cycled the firecracker. Not bad. Gonna go for an Ice Spirit. Also gonna go for Skelly's High here. That should not make it to my Tesla, but the Mega Minion might get like a few shots on it. I'm gonna log on the Golden Knight and just gonna go for a Knight in the middle. Okay, gonna have to Firecracker the back here. I don't want him to like Miner into it. But he already played a Miner, so I'm gonna like Firecracker in the middle. Right above my King and then see what I can do here. Gonna Skelly's on the Archers to not let them get any damage on the... Oh, really good Bomb Tower. Nice. I was going to Tesla instantly because I kind of knew he was going to bomb tower, but he actually predicted my expo, so that was really good. I'm going to go for a firecracker at the back because I kind of have to. I can't really let the firecracker die right now. I'm not really back to a Tesla, so if he goes in right now, firecracker is my only option. Okay, that miner is probably on the fire. What? What was that miner? Okay, I don't know what that miner was. He didn't really have to, like, NATO zappy if he played the miner good, but I don't mind, I guess. I mean, that's just going to kind of help me out, so... We'll see what he does here. I'm going to go for an Axe Ball on the left here soon. Kind of have to. I think he's back to Balloon though, so I can't really go in right now. I'm going to have to Knight to block the bridge. Going to scale easier to catch a Miner. Hopefully the tower locks on the Miner. Nice. Wait, that's so flawless. No damage taken. Oh, only one shot. Doesn't matter though. That's only one hit. I'm going to log over here. Not going to let him have the NATO ability right now. Gonna go for a Axe Spell on defense, just gonna Ice Spirit. By the way, that placement activates King if the Balloon like gets to your King, like if it lives through the Tesla and the Cannon and all that stuff. Not the Cannon, the, the Axe Spell is what I meant to say. I'm gonna log on the Golden Eye and the Archer, gonna Fireball on the Tower. I'm gonna have to like Fireball Cycle the last bit, because I don't really want to lose to like a random Golden Eye dash. I was gonna have to um, keep that in mind that if he gets like a random dash, I'll lose the game, so gonna have to constantly um keep fireballing him i'm gonna scale these here oh that's a really good fireball on defense i'm gonna have to take that just gonna go for a log on the archer and the golden knight and uh gonna have to go for skellies up high here okay really good nato ability he actually missed the um firecracker but didn't matter because the knight helped him out so i'm gonna fireball tessa high skellies here to catch pretty obvious minor placement gonna go for ice spirit fireball again i can get back to one. oh oh the timer ended nice 
all right well i'll take the win this is going to give me like 35 or something this guy's also like a little bit higher than me so i'll definitely take the win i'm gonna play like two more i think because i mean early season no one's queuing and the queue time's kind of long so i don't want to play a lot of games i don't want to just like wait here and queue for like forever but yeah i'm just gonna play maybe two more so i'll see you when i find a game all right i'm in a match facing navi see what deck he's playing i'm just gonna go for scaly's the back here to cycle and then just gonna go for like a firecracker in the back see what he does for this probably gonna throw a spell at it or like play something in the back i'm just gonna do this and uh just gonna wait for him to make a play oh my god that's not a good sign okay monk is a really bad matchup any deck with a monk is horrible i cannot get a lock in this matchup so probably gonna have to depend on my um firecracker damage and like fireball cycle to win the game but if he's playing minor poison or something along the lines of that i'm definitely dead like i can't do anything he out damages me with the poison and the minor i can't really fireball cycle that out so I'm gonna go expo, try to bait the mortar right now. What? RG, oh my god, it's RG Monk Fireball. Oh my goodness, well, I'm dead. I can't do anything in this. I'll try my best though. I mean, yeah, I could try to get some firecracker damage and then probably gonna probably gonna try to go for expo and he does not have a RG in cycle, even though it's into a monk. Maybe I can like DPS down a monk and get like the tiny locks. They kind of add up if I'm able to do that, but I don't know, I'm not very hopeful right now. I'll try my best to win this though, but I don't think I'm going to see what he does here. Might go for like a monk in the back. I know he's back to monk by now. Champion cycle is kind of weird. They always get it back after playing like two cards. Used to happen to me when I was playing queen too. So I know he's back to it by now. And then uh, like I was thinking about like Skelly's knight opposite lane, but I'm just going to Skelly's on the monk here because I thought he was going to kind of delay the ability a little bit. So maybe I could have done some uh, damage on that monk, but he didn't delay it for too long. Yeah, the expo's dead. He just has to play a monk, pop the ability, and then play something in the middle to kind of tank for it. A little bit annoying, but that's okay. I'm gonna go for a knight in the back. Might go phoenix in the back or something. If he does, I'm gonna snipe it, because that's my only way to get damage right now. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna snipe that, and then if he goes uh, fisherman or something, I'm definitely gonna fireball it really fast. So he can't really pull my... Okay, I'm just gonna... Yikes, I did not mean to let that go. I was gonna expo and then Tessa on the side like to the left of it so I could block the RG but I accidentally let the expo go without having elixir to like support it so yeah not the best um expo but I'm gonna try to defend the RG here Michael fireball on the firecracker I'm gonna have to log this back he's probably going to fireball never mind okay monk that's actually not a bad play because he's gonna pop the ability my um firecracker dies and I'm gonna have to knight on all this is the fisherman gonna pull my knight hopefully not yo can my other tower help out oh my god okay the, even the goblin didn't die that's so annoying i'm gonna log here just gonna go for skellies in front of my tower really good fireball on his end that should not splash onto my tower but he got so much damage from that because he got some monk damage and then he got some goblin damage and he played a fireball and a log just now so i'm gonna firecracker in the back opposite lane and see what he does gonna tesla high i'm just gonna go for uh skellies on this to not take any damage on the knight that way the knight actually finishes off the um fisherman i'm gonna have to log though because he played a goblins but gonna ice spirit on the right side and yeah not the best hunter i don't know why you would want a king activation versus expo but knock yourself out gonna go for um a knight on the side over here he might pop the ability on this yeah he's going to pop the ability so that's an activation for me i think if i'm not wrong yeah okay really good activation but at this point like it doesn't even help activation doesn't do anything at this point he's gonna fireball the tesla and the expo i think yeah it does go for a fireball i'm gonna firecracker on the side might go fisher so i'm gonna go for skellies here just gonna expo on the right side at six hopefully he's not back to monk but who am i kidding he's definitely back to monk yeah gonna go for a knight over here and he is gonna pop the ability oh the fisher's on my tower okay well it got no damage but i'm just gonna log the goblins out and see if i can get like a tiny lock please nope not even a tiny lock all right this is looking uh really impossible i don't know how to get damage anything i do like doesn't get to his tower and it's so easy for him to get damage i'm gonna fireball i think the firecracker shoots really fast to the point where like it can't hook the firecracker Ooh, yo wait i'll take that damage um i just need like a few more firecrackers like that i'm gonna go for a log over here just gonna go firecracker on the side and then i'm gonna knight like over here all the way over to the outside i'm gonna fireball uh is that on my firecracker no it's not nice log on the goblins maybe oh i played a hunter smart smart oh uh, i'm kind of catching up i'm gonna go for an expo right now i could probably just fireball there but i wanted to go for expo oh shoot i should have held on to that yikes all right this is not very good 
because I'm gonna have to knight on the goblins here and I'm also gonna have to expo again because my expo kind of died to the RG because I didn't hold on to my Tesla for too long. Oh, that's annoying. He's just gonna pop the ability. Yeah. All right, yeah, that's game. I can't do anything. Log over here, Ice Spirit, uh, Tesla. He is gonna fire Moment Tower, so it's over. Probably could have done something different. Probably should have like Spell Cycle instead of going in there, but I don't know. I feel like if I Spell Cycle, he just goes in on the left with Monk and RG and just wins the game, so kind of didn't have an option. I had to bait something out on that expo anyway, so kind of a bad matchup, but can't end on a loss. I'll play one more. I'll see you when I find a game. All right, on to my last game here, see what deck he's playing. I'm just going to go for an Ice Spirit to cycle. Okay, this should force something out. Let's see. Archer is not bad. I'm going to go for a Firecracker in the back here. A lot of people are playing Archers right now. It's so popular. It's also so broken. Going to Knight over here. Oh, look at that one Archer on the left. That's going to take my tower down to like 3k. Holy crap. Oh my god, that's so much damage. Okay, just going to Axe on the left here and... Uh, see what he's got for me i know he's playing mighty manor mortar deck with like a manor and a poison he's got like three elixir right now and he has four like now so michael poison mortar okay wait so that means he can't really defend the expo right uh well actually the mortar gets one shot and then he logs out the expo and the expo just kind of like dies itself so yeah that's kind of annoying that i don't really get a lot of damage for him being so low on elixir but it's okay i can probably capitalize on it on the next expo or like the one after that if this one doesn't work We'll see what happens though, but I'm gonna go for a firecracker in the back to try and see if I can like bait out a miner. Okay, he's not gonna play the miner, so I'm gonna expo here. I mean, he's down a lot, I knew that, so he just kind of had to like hold on to everything, but yeah, I'm just gonna expo here. He's definitely gonna mighty miner poison. No, he doesn't poison this. He's gonna have to mighty miner and poison. Yeah, okay. Just pretty much had a feeling he would just go for that. That's the safest play he can make right there. If he went archers or something, I would have just like ice spirit logged it out and then I get a fat log, so. That was really good by him. Safer play. Gonna Ice Spirit. He has to defend it. No, he does not. All right, he's just gonna eat it then. All right, see what he does. I don't really want to log, but at the same time, I might have to log. I'm gonna Firecracker in the back right now, though. Okay, Mortar. All right, I'm gonna have to Fireball out the Mortar. Might go Miner once he's at 10. If he does, I'm gonna have to um, guess the right side because he's gonna want to go same lane as me. He doesn't want to go opposite lane because he's playing Miner Cycle, like Miner Poison Cycle, so... It's always better for them to go same lane as an expo player. That way, like, they can poison on the expo and, yeah, just try to get a lot of damage. Same lane, so I can't really go in anymore. But, gonna Ice Spirit. I'm not gonna let him, like, get a lot of damage on the right side. I'm gonna make him try to go in for the left. Really good fireball on all of this. So I'm just gonna fireball the Phoenix and the Mighty Miner. Just gonna log out the egg. Would have been nice if the Firecracker, like, splashed on the egg so I could save my log for, like, the archers. But that's a little bit annoying. Gonna Knight in the back here to predict the Miner. Did I catch it? Yeah, I did. Wait, how does that not catch? Okay, whatever. Only two shots. I don't care. But that should have caught, though. I'm going to go for a fireball on the mortar. And then just going to go for skellies in the middle here to not let it lock on the night. Just kind of saving some HP on it, I guess. And then just going to go for a Tesla high. Okay, he's definitely going to like archers, right? To kill the... Yeah, to kill the firecracker. So I'm going to log on the egg. Kind of have to. And then night. Ooh, really good miner played it in the front that was actually super smart because he played a log with it too so if i played like skellies or something he would have hit that but since i didn't have the skellies on cycle i couldn't really place it on the miner i'm gonna go for um oh he's already back to that what oh, i didn't know he was back to that it's a little bit annoying max but just dies also like if the archers ever lock on the expo just kind of let it die and then try to get the elixir back going again um i'm gonna expo here oh nice mighty miner and that's gonna lock on he just played ice spirit so that's game he can't stop the expo. Nice. All right, I'll take the win. Um, I'm going to end the video there for sure. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And we are once again so close to 100,000 subs. Only like 2k away, I think now. Like 2.2 away or something. So, yeah, super duper close. Um, hopefully you guys make it happen sometime soon. And as always, I love you guys. Bye.